You are listening to I'm Refocus Podcast with your host, Shemaya Reed. This podcast is designed to inspire you to live your purpose and regain your focus. Now, let's tune in into today's podcast. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is I Am Refocus Podcast. Man, you already know what time it is. It is Thursday. We are here at Rockefeller's Barbershop. Shout out to Rico Rodriguez, the owner of Rockefeller's. We have a returning, you know what's up, <laughs> Miss B, Michelle, the brand coach. Good morning. Good morning, guys. How are you? Doing really good. So Thank you for having me back in 2019. Uh, you already know. We got to start out, right? <laughs> you know? Right? Set the tone for the whole year. So speaking uh, uh, 2019. <laughs> How has it been treating you so far? Oh, it's been good. I can't believe we're done with the first month, though. Right. Like, it's the 31st. So I'm just like, really? Boom. Boom. It's like you blink your eyes three times, you're getting gray hair. <laughs> yep. And honestly, I noticed I had a gray hair in my eyebrow. So I'm just like, I'm not really feeling that right now. <laughs> That's called season. Is that what it is? Season. <laughs> a little salt and pepper, a little season right there. I'm like, but in my eyebrow though? I don't know. I think one of my eyelashes is gray too. Oh wow. I'm embracing all of it at this point. I mean, because what can I do? Nah, you can only go with it. <laughs> right. <laughs> You're right. I can only really go with it. But, but yeah, 2019 has been good thus far. I cannot complain. Um, I could, but why? No, you're right, yeah. because at the end of the day, it's, it's how you make it. It's how you adapt to the situations in life. Right. And before we go with Dr. Phil too early in the show. I know, right? <laughs> what can you tell people who might be listening for the very first time on this podcast? Tell them about your business and your services. So I am B. Michelle, the brand coach. So I help solopreneurs, small business owners um, brand their businesses from three platforms. So we help you through event planning. So we plan events for you to help you get in front of your target audience and develop your brand that way. We also help you build your outward brand through printing graphics. So T-shirts, banners, flyers, business cards, um, a number of promotional items that you may need to help you do what you do well um, and leave your mark out there and stay in front of, you know, top of mind for your um, target audience. Um, and our third way is through coaching and consulting. So we also help you develop and build your brand internally first. Yeah. So I'm, I always like to start with the internal brand and move outward because so that way your message matches, your internal message matches your outward message. Um, so just we just help business owners and organizations um, just really establish who they are and determine who they are when they're placed in the market. And speaking of putting your place in the market, that's one thing. But once you're in it, how do you grow? <laughs> oh, you know what? I think there are so many growing your, there are so many things you can do to really grow your business. And, mm. and it's different for every, for every industry. But some of the things that's across the board is number one, you, you have to be, you have to market your business. Mm. So you definitely have to spend time, um, on marketing and whatever that looks like, you know, for you, whether that's through um, TV, through radio, through um, networking, through social media. I mean, I, I will say this, even on this, from a social media standpoint, I really do not understand how you could really have, especially as a small business and a startup, depending on what it is, like, how can you afford not to be on social media on any of the platforms? And you don't have to be on all of them, like using them all of them, because it's all about finding out where your target audience is. Mm -hmm. And so, which we'll talk about, that's one, we'll talk about that as well. But you definitely have to have a presence, at least create the page. So that way, if you ever want to go back and use it, Mm -hmm. You can't, the name is already there and nobody takes the name, but definitely once you figure out where your target audience is, you should be on those platforms. So if your target audience is on Facebook, you should be on Facebook. If they're on IG, you should be on IG. Take us to school on Facebook. <laughs> Because struggle is real. The struggle is real. It, that, it is real. I'm just being real. I don't, I don't know how to use Facebook that way. So, word it's funny. <laughs> um, but here's the thing. Okay. So, let me be clear about this. You cannot grow your business just sitting, posting, posting, posting all day. Mm -hmm. 
because Facebook changes the algorithms. Mm -hmm. And so it just all depends. Number one, you should have a, a variety of posts. So you should actually post articles. You should even do um, this funny little pictures. You should also just post things, just common things, maybe about the business, about you, about... So it shouldn't just be all business. There should be a good mix of posts. There you go. So inviting your client base into you personally as an entrepreneur, but also into your business. So that's why even on... I always tell people they should have a business and a personal page, but in that, even on my, like my B. Michelle page, I do have a personal page with my government name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's for when I want to probably say some unsavory things. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Just being honest. Right. So I have a personal page for that. Maybe I want to go on a rant and I can't really go on a rant on my business page because that's inappropriate. Yeah. Um, but I also still let and let them into my world as be Michelle. Actually, like I even posted a throwback. I posted okay. a throwback picture today. You want them to know you. Yeah. So I want them to know me, but and still keeping in mind with seeing that like I posted a throwback because in my te when I was in Abu Dhabi in my teacher time and now that transition from being a teacher to now being um, an entrepreneur. And actually, even though it started there, mm -hmm. so it started in Abu Dhabi and all of that good stuff and living a good life and the travel and all of that. It's not a bad place to start. I know man. it wasn't a bad place to start at all. Like, Oh, I, I, I do miss it. I do miss it, but we'll, we'll, we'll get back there. But so you just want to make sure you keep your, you know, you keep your page, you know, fun mm -hmm. and not just constant pounding, pounding, pounding with business stuff. Mm -hmm. Because people are gonna people ignore it after a while. Yeah. So keep your content relevant. Mm -hmm. uh, making sure that you're putting out things that your that your followers want to see and hear. And so we'll which we'll get into video. Mm, that's scary. <laughs> I know, that's right? Because HD man, it shows you everything. It does. It does. You be checking out the video. Oh man, I look like that. Oh my god. <laughs> it does. I love this hot chocolate. That was random. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shout out to Rico Rodriguez, man. I know. Thanks, Rico, for the hot Rock chocolate. Fellas, he makes sure he keep the treats. Um, keep them uh, fed. I know. He keep them on deck in here. <laughs> um, but speaking of video content, that is really blown up. There's a lot of people doing video mm -hmm. vlogs. Yes. And also commercials and yes. random stories and stuff. Where is the right place if you're just starting out? So before we go there with the video, though, so I'm going to go back to the whole thing. Rewind. Page. Yeah, rewind. Man, man, man. <laughs> um, so before we go to the video, because um, I just want to say, even about Facebook, so which mm -hmm. made me go to you can't just sit on Facebook all day and just post, post, post. Mm -hmm. So um, as a business owner, you have to figure out, develop a budget and whatever you're going to spend on marketing yeah. and really actually do the, the ads mm -hmm. and really get or, you know, go to some, if you're not sure how to do them, find someone that can help you take the trainings. There's a couple of people out there to give some really good trainings on uh, Facebook ads mm -hmm. and how to create them and get the most out of them. Yeah. Cause it is more than just boosting the post. Cause you can actually go in and literally pick out the people that you want this ad to go to. Mm -hmm. And so, and there's a, there's a method. I mean, there's a method to it. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I think just posting, you should definitely post, of course, but at some point you should create an advertisement to go above and beyond the post and bring them to the page so that people can then see the post, you know, through the adver advertisement. Mm -hmm. So, but if you're not going to do any of that, then it's like, really? You're just kind of there. Yeah. But you're not there. Right. You're there, but because here's the thing, then you'll go, you'll get, you'll go on a tagging rant. You're <laughs> almost like it. an island. You're yeah. just kind of like by yourself. Because you can't go, you can't go on a tagging rant. Okay. So like, I think Facebook lets you tag up to what, 50 people? Yeah. But every post you, every post you put up, you, you can't just start tagging because some people are going to get tired. Then they'll block you. So you don't want to create a situation Playing where basketball, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. You will get blocked <laughs> if you tag people like way too many times. Yes. And so, and I make sure that I only try to tag people in relevant stuff that I know. Cause I do get the, Oh, I didn't see this. 
Mm-hmm. And so sometimes I, if I remember who it was, I'll make sure, hey, make sure you you know join our email list. Yeah. Or so I'll tag people based on relevancy. Mm-hmm. So I do not go on a tagging rant. And like even with the mixer, um, we bought, I did an ad for the mixer and I'm going to start doing, because I want to start doing more ads. So I got Carlos Todd, shout out to Carlos, um, to help me with my social media ads. Because number one, my plate is full. Mm-hmm. And so, and I want them done right. And I'm all about, which will bring me to another thing as we roll into this, mm-hmm. um, about letting people do what they do well. Oh, yeah. So that should be definitely a 2019 mantra for a lot. Delegate. <laughs> for, for our business owners. Yeah. Let pe- Just because you have the skill set doesn't mean you have to do it. It doesn't mean it's great. And it doesn't mean it's great. It might be okay, but it's not great. Right. Like, I mean, there's a lot of things that I can do, but I know I'm I know what I'm good at. I could try to do the table uh branding, but that's not my game. Right. That's that's B Michelle. Coach right. B. That's what I'm saying. So it's like people who are good at social media, people are obviously I mean, I like to take pictures, but I'm not a great photographer. Very like good. I don't know anything about lighting. <laughs> I just I mean it's a hobby. Turn it's on so, the light. It's so funny. <laughs> So I actually, when I went to University of Missouri, I actually went there so I could major in photojournalism. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, that's oh, wow. Much. That's a fun fact. Yeah, that's a fun I fact. I didn't know that. Yeah, so my fresh, I went to University of Missouri because I wanted to major in photo. But here, let me tell you how shallow, how really this is so crazy. Popcorn time. I wanted to major in photojournalism just so I could go to the football and the NBA, NFL and NBA games. Oh, that's an awesome reason. <laughs> <laughs> so I made my major in photojournalism. <laughs> And I got a good. Hey, I can always be courtside or um, on the field and take good and take pictures. So that was my <laughs> that was my logic behind majoring in photojournalism. <laughs> Clearly, that didn't work out. <laughs> um, I got sucked in with the children, and so my love for education prevailed <laughs> and people. So now I just take pictures as a hobby. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, that's funny. So yeah, that's funny. Um, as I digress, sorry. But, selfies, you master yeah. in selfies. <laughs> um, but no, I actually do enjoy taking. I actually do enjoy photography. I'm joking. Um, also, but the selfie <laughs> thing, yes, um, I, I do it um, as well. But so I said that to say, like, as an entrepreneur, like it's totally it's super important that you realize what your strengths are. Yeah, and what your weaknesses are and let people function in their strength. Yeah. Um, if it's, you know, doable for you and if you have the budget for it because I'm one, it frees you up to to do what you do well mm-hmm. and you don't have a long to-do list of stuff that you just have to do because you don't want to pay anybody or like figure, like really figure it out. Um, and that's what I spent the end of 2018 is figuring out how I could do X, Y, and Z um, or who I could get to bring on board or bring in the fold. Yeah. And so I've been totally blessed with um, my, I, she's still my marketing intern, but I don't like to call her intern because she's, but um, Sandrea, she's come on board to help us. And so I'm so blessed to have her because it takes a lot off of me and I can focus on where I really want to mm-hmm. take my business to. So it's just all about, Figuring out, you know, where you want to go and finding the right resources because you cannot do it all. Uh, Even if you try to do it all, eventually it's going to fall apart. (laughs) It's almost like, can you imagine me trying to build a MacBook Pro? Nah, that's not my expertise. That's not going to happen. If you try to do something that's not in your lane, it's soon to fail. Period. That is true. That is true. Um... And shout out to Carnell Addison um, watching. Um, he's you popular man. I, <laughs> I see all these it, hearts and likes popping up on your screen. Hey, I'm I'm, I'm happy. Like <laughs> that's what's up. So shout out to Carnell Addison. Um, he's actually I've known him for. Okay, so I always go back to. So remember when I brought Marcus to Resurrection? Mm-hmm. So Carnell is Marcus's manager. Oh, okay. So we've stayed we've stayed in contact and. Hey, he comes San Antonio on the podcast. Yeah, Carnell, you should. Oh, Marcus or Carnell? Both. All right, Neil. They said, "Come on, um, to San Antonio, you and Marcus, and come on the podcast." Yeah, I made that real safe answer. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Ain't leaving nobody um, out, man. <laughs> 
fax, the role acknowledgement is important. Yes. But this ties into yes. speaking, giving people shout outs. This ties into building relationships in yes. 2019 so, because you can't brand and not have relationships. Right. So, OK, like you, you said a lot. You, you said some million dollar. That was a million dollar stuff right there. Shamar, um, Shamar, call you Shamar. Shamar. <laughs> Shamar. Oh man. Shamaya. That's my new name. Shamar. Shamar. <laughs> you know where I was going with that, right? Wow. Shamar Moore. <laughs> I guess that's my lost cousin, but yeah, yeah, that's okay. I'll, I'll let that Shemaya, slide. I'll let that slide. Oh. Gotta get that Maya out there. Yeah, Shemaya, sorry. That's cool. No, Shemaya. it's cool. That's all. Okay, so yeah, relationships, <laughs> which is so funny because I've spent the last five years of my business building relationships to the point to where now I feel like I'm like the black yellow pages. I know that's like an oxymoron. <laughs> I'm, the black, I'm called the black yellow pages. Cause you be you just don't people contact me for the weirdest things and ask hey do you know so and so or do you have this yeah. and nine times out of ten I do mm-hmm. and I'm and I mean I'm I'm definitely proud of that fact yeah. that people think enough they trust of me you enough to ask. to ask me about yeah. any and everything divorce attorneys <laughs> wow <laughs> well I do know lawyers I do have I do know several lawyers um so I get weird requests but I've spent time building those relationships. Um, was I spent time building those relationships over the last years? Yeah, over the last you know four or five years, mm-hmm. to where that and my really my really strong relationships. You know, I I use them you know when necessary, but it's it's all about building relationships mm-hmm. with your clients and with other business owners. Relationships open up doors yes. of opportunities that you would never have right. if you didn't take the moment right. to plant those seeds. That is true. And this is where um, being a good business owner, doing good business, um, networking, actually you know, being out there engaging with people, engaging you know with your audience. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's not just... Mm-hmm. Whenever you see them, like I, I try, <laughs> yeah. I definitely try to make sure I contact, you know, clients that I haven't heard from in a while. Like one of my clients, she had an accident, she broke her ankle. And so I text her throughout, you know, the time just to check up on her, make sure she was OK. It's those things. Yeah. So it's about it's about those memories and people knowing that you care. Mm-hmm. Beyond just the, the, the dollar transaction. Mm-hmm. So. You know, you have to put it's you have to put time into it. And, and these are just these are base things that no matter what business you have, the way you really grow your business and just how you treat people. Yeah. Is yeah. I mean, that goes without saying, honestly, um, just how you treat people, you know, referring like here's one of the things like I have a huge network and I don't mind sharing it, but I'm also very protective of my network Mm -hmm. because I want to make sure because when you come to me and you ask me for something number one I need to know that like you serious and you ready yeah because if I make the call or put myself in the middle of the situation and then you don't follow through yeah then you know I'm gonna get that phone call like I got two days ago about you know Oh, well, so-and-so X, Y, and Z. And then, so now I'm really trying to fix both ends. So that's why, like, I, I think of relationships, you have to protect them once you build them. And they're not just to be used willy-nilly. It, you put out what you want to get back. Yeah. You throw that boomerang out and you hopefully get back in return what you put out there. Yes, <laughs> totally. Because you can't go to the bank and ask for money you never put in. Right. Because here's the thing. You have to you have to make more deposits than you do debits. Mm-hmm. Honestly, you have to spend time sewing into yourself because you can sew into yourself, mm-hmm. but also sewing into other people for yeah. the right reasons, though. Mm-hmm. But that has to be a natural part of you. Yeah. Like, I mean, it can't be fake. It right. Has to be genuine. Yeah, it has to be a natural part of you. And just like, I don't mind when people, you know, inbox me about, hey, do you know so and so, or can you, you know, refer X, Y, and Z? That's what I'm here for because people have in turn referred me to people. Half of my client base has been off a of referral. Yeah. And although I still market my business, I still advertise, still make these videos, but a good, I mean, I, I'll say about half. We're, we're now probably in that half range. Um, 
probably half of my clients have come from referrals or either just people that I've met along the way. And at some point now they finally look <laughs> all of Facebook posts. <laughs> <laughs> all those videos have finally paid off so they're like hey I'm ready you know I want to set up a meeting with you and it's, and it's great but this is what I always tell people because I always have to preface this with serious I always use the word serious mm-hmm. and I say you know if you're a serious business owner and you're serious about growing your business because some people out here you know they plan Mm-hmm. They playing double dutch, jump in, jump out, <laughs> exactly. hopscotch. But they tripping though; they're not really doing it right. So they like, keep hitting them. <laughs> so here's the thing: you can't play hopscotch or double dutch, as I say, you know, with your business. Yeah. Like you have to. Oh, did you see my post about the little the little hand game? Remember in elementary the little paper? Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, one of the kids had one, so I took a picture. And you know how you open up and you, like it's one, and then you open, you do it again, and you open up. Mm-hmm. So I posted a picture. I said, "This is how some people make decisions about their Ooh, business." That's cold. <laughs> but it is. Ouch! No, you are right. That was real. <laughs> I forgot it's like the little paper origami um, game. But that is how some people make decisions about their business. Some people just roll dice. <laughs> some people roll the dice. Whatever it lands on. <laughs> but like you can't function. You cannot grow your business in the way that you need to do it like that. So it's like, it's about game plan. It's like, you got to have a game plan. Yeah, it's for not real. random growth. It's intentional. Growth. It's intentional growth. And that's our, I'm glad you brought that word up. So that's our word for 2019, which I'm going to get to that is intentional. Mm-hmm. Everything that you do in building your brand and build, building your business has to be intentional. Mm-hmm. The people that you network with, the places you go, because it looks like we just said at the beginning, it's already January 31st. This month is over. I'm black and I'm proud. It's like ice Tomorrow, on the stove. Man. <laughs> 28 days. <laughs> oh, man. No. no, it's fast. It's like ice right. on the stove. It's, it's melting. January is over. Yeah. So it's very important that you are intentional about the places that you go, yeah. the people that you connect with, mm-hmm. where you spend your money, mm-hmm. all of that. Your quiet the, time, everything. Right, for the purpose of really yeah. taking your business to another level. So you cannot spend, you know, time in places with people who don't have the same mindset or thought process you. Yeah. So you can't even spend time on, you know, talking to people. Mm-hmm. Where y'all not speaking the same language. Yeah, cut it short. It's time to go. Those minutes. All right, 2019, you guys spend your minutes in the right place. Yes. I'm going to say that one more time because I don't think y'all heard me. You need to spend your minutes in the right place in 2019 because it's not just being around the right people, but it's also how you manage your time. Right. No, that is really true. And I think for me... I, I do my best at trying to each day trying to figure out okay what's happening at this time what's happening at that time mm-hmm. um, so that and then but then things happen so sometimes right. I have to go with the flow mm-hmm. um, because it's when you're doing so much but you do try to stay on you know time but definitely how you spend your time where you spend it at um, all that matters and all that needs to be intentional in 2019 so you don't really have time to play around and engage in activities that's not going to get you to the end goal. Mm-hmm. Like, Because what happens is when you, when you are really intentional with how you spend your minutes and how you just plan your day, because like you said, things happen, life happens, you have to adjust as it happens to Right. You. But what happens is you start to really get better at growing your business and yes. better at marketing yes. and better at networking and better at public speaking. True. Because you're Cause you, cause you, okay. It's like, you have to, you have to try you. First of all, you got to try. So you got to be willing to try. Can't be shy. Right. And it's just like, it's just like, you know, far as a lot of stuff is trial and error, especially depending on what stage you are in your business. A lot of things are trial and error. So you got to figure out what works for you and your business and your market. Because we always talk about this. Like San Antonio market is totally different from Dallas market. It's totally different from the Houston market. What works there does not necessarily work here and vice versa. Mm-hmm. You know, just even through events. Like I was in Dallas. Um, I planned my sorority sister's birthday party two weeks ago in Dallas. So the tables, this quick story. So 
the tables were already sold out so I couldn't book the table so I had to go early man the- <laughs> <laughs> so I was there I had to get there like at 8.30 to secure some tables so when they came because we didn't have them reserved which I did in mind but when I got there I got there by 8.30 and it was packed mm-hmm. on a Friday night like it was it was still it's called um, Benetti's I think that's name is, that's how you pronounce it Benetti's um, shout out to David Singh for hooking me up though with um, with that so it was I had to get there at 8.30 it was still a good group of people and the whole time I was sitting there at 8.30 having a great time Music good. I thought about how this could be San Antonio, but we play too much. Mm-hmm. Or we don't play enough. Or we don't play enough. It was, I mean, when I tell you it was nice, it was the, it was a nice crowd of people, mm-hmm. you, could, you know, good caliber of See folks. See I went with that? Yeah. Because we I'm, got Coach B in the building. <laughs> Put me so, in, Coach. I'm putting you in the game. I'm putting you in the <laughs> game, Shamaya. So I'm just like, man, this could be San Antonio yeah. on a Friday at 8 o'clock. But we play too much. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's really a true statement, but right. I think what it is to, until you, like we've been talking about this the whole show today, until you really are serious mm-hmm. about wanting to grow your business, you won't, <laughs> you won't get there. Serious and intentional. So when you do things with intent, people know you're serious. Let me just say that. There you go. When you do things with intent, people know you're serious. Mm-hmm. Like, it sticks. Right. So this is why and, and I sometimes I hate it. Like so here's one of the things I do for supporting and I try to support people in the best way that I can possibly support them. And whether that's monetarily monetary or, you know, sharing or, you know, referrals, however I try to support because here's the thing. I can't be all these places, especially when it comes to events, but I will share your event. I will tell people about it. Mm -hmm. I may not make it because I can't be in all these places at one time, but I also then have to pick, look at the calendar of events. And although I do, I, maybe I really do want to support you, but maybe that's not a good use of my time, Mm -hmm. you know, and I maybe need to spend it over here, but since I can't go here, I'll definitely maybe tell two or three people who I think will benefit from being there. Mm -hmm. And so I think that's when you even look at how, you know, where you go, the things you do, the people, the circles that you're trying to be in. Mm -hmm. So you have to be, you have to be where those people are. Yeah. Like, honestly. And when you are in that transition of going the next level, I like saying this, every level you go is a new devil waiting for you. Yeah, there so is. So don't think it gets easier. <laughs> oh, we found In the entrepreneurship <laughs> world, don't think it gets easier. No, man. it doesn't. And uh, this is why I think for me, I've, I've, I'm so laser focused that I don't really, I don't, honestly, I have the time. I don't even know what's happening outside of and it's, I don't, I, and I'll try to take some time to figure out, okay, who's doing this or who, what's happening over here. Cause a lot of times you tell me something, I'm like, I didn't even know. Mm-hmm. Like that was new to me. Mm-hmm. Like, so because I'm this focus on doing, taking my company to where I wanted to go and the things that we need to be doing, um, you're so intentional. I'm in, yeah, I'm intentional. You're so not I, just random abstract. And nothing right. wrong with that. Right. But it doesn't work all the time. Right. So <laughs> I miss, you know, I definitely miss a lot of things. Yeah. But I do think when you wake up in the morning and with the purpose of intent, people will know that you're serious. And so I think. Cause they respect so, you. They respect you. Yeah. They respect your time, too. They do. And I think what you also put out, what you put out physically, what you put out verbally, mm-hmm. what you put out through social media, it matters. This is funny. You may not like this, but I'm going to just go with it and take a risk. Business is almost like a dating app. <laughs> sometimes you're a match and sometimes you're just not a match. You're right. So, some people, you know what? Here's the thing. You're right about that. And I think sometimes you have to, because everybody's not an entrepreneur. So mm-hmm. this life is not for everybody. Mm-hmm. And I think some people see the glitz and glamour. And I don't know what glitz and glamour they see. They just see the highlights. Because yeah, well, maybe <laughs> like right something like they, they see the filters. Is that what it is? Photoshop. Because I'm just like <laughs> um, I didn't go to bed till one o'clock. <laughs> yeah. And I woke up at five. <laughs> and sent out emails, sent out invoices. 
Yeah. Created some social media content. People like watching the movie, but no one likes to make it. Right. Because you got to get the director, but, but, you got to get the but, screenwriter, you got to get the actors and actresses, you're right. camera but, crew. You're right. It's work. It's work, man. It is work. It's grind. This this life, and so if if you really feel like you have a gift, have you know, your purpose is to be an entrepreneur, then just know what you're about to step into. So take some time. And that's one thing I think. And it's okay. Even if you're in your first year, your second year of business, mm-hmm. you may need to kind of take a step back and like, okay, is this really, really for me? Am I ready? Are you ready yet? Because you can always surround yourself with entrepreneurs who can right. coach you right. and build you up as you're learning to take that jump. So here's the thing. I think some of us in certain demographics Preach. Also, I'm gonna I'm I'm keep it there. You know, fill in, fill in the blanks. We need to develop a respect for con, con, um, consultants. Yeah. Um, in a sense of sometime bef- you may want to go see a coach or a consultant mm-hmm. first mm-hmm. to help you kind of process some of this before you go spend three or four thousand dollars. <laughs> because I just told somebody the other day. Whether it's me or anyone else, set up a consultation with someone, spend that hundred and fifty dollars or whatever their consultation fee is to find out if you even have a viable business or not. Yeah. Yeah. If this is even doable, if there's a market out there before you go spend three to four thousand dollars and and wish you hadn't. That's a lot. You because spend more just it to clean it up. happens to people every day. So spend that one fifty for that consultation and really Take the right road. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Take the proper steps to figure out where your place is going to be mm-hmm. in this entrepreneur space. You got to take the right road. Man. Before you look up and you three or four thousand dollars later in nothing and if, it didn't work. If you're going to Detroit, you can't go south. Mm. <laughs> Sham- Shamaya doing it today. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. All right. In business, one thing that's common sense in business is really going back to self-development, individual. Yes. You, you know, me. How how can I be a better me? And you should have that in mind, too, every day. Yeah. Because it's okay. Say, I got big dreams. I got big goals. But if you are not trying to get yourself <laughs> in that position to win, <laughs> it's hard. And okay, and so because it feels great to dream big, but right? You gotta it does. do something. Shout out to Dream Big Scholarship Fund. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we own it today. We own it. I couldn't we help tag it. Team. Like I couldn't help it. You, you kind of you put it out there. You. Boom. Yeah. Um, so you do have to put your and this is but this goes back to developing obviously developing yourself mm-hmm. from a perspective of training, yeah, um, workshops, attending conferences, mm-hmm. um. Just developing your skill set mm-hmm. in whatever industry that you're in, making sure you have, you know, whatever certifications you need mm-hmm. and all of that to be able to provide and be knowledgeable about the product and service that you offer. Yeah. So at the end of the day, it's also about bringing something different to the table mm-hmm. and figure out even if you're in a, a market that's overly oversaturated. It's okay because we already talked about this on, and I told we were thinking last time we were talking telling Rico like, yeah, it's like five hundred barbers here in San Antonio, but that's okay mm-hmm. because it's two million, it's a million plus people who live in San Antonio. Number one, mm-hmm. so a lot of people need haircuts, mm-hmm. but it's about how you do it. Yeah. So you can't get caught up in what the other four hundred and ninety nine barbers are doing. You can definitely you want to connect with them. You want to develop a relationship with them so you can make sure you stay in um, compliant and up on the latest trends and mm-hmm. fashions, you know. But you also at the same time have to be the best barber you can be or the best whatever it is. Because yeah, there's a ton of brand coaches out there, but nobody do it like I do it. Man. All right. Shout out to the NBA because there's a lot of teams out there. But only one can win championship. Shout out to the NFL too, because Super Bowl is coming this Sunday. That is true. And I see your mama with that Rams. Oh, hey, jersey on. well, do you like the Patriots? Mm. <laughs> there you go, drop mic on the thing. You almost out, made me shout, burn. You almost <laughs> made me burn myself. Uh, shout out to the Patriot uh, fans out there. There's no hard feelings. It's all love. It's mm-hmm. gonna be a good game. But back, back on. I ain't rooting for the Rams though. 
Hey, shout out to Malcolm Brown. Right. Running back. I know. That's like one of y'all good friends, huh? Hey, shirts, Texas, man. Stand up. But honestly, though, like back, back to the metaphor, there's so many teams out there. So just think of your business as a team. Maybe it's just you and another person, or maybe it's you and a few people, or maybe it's you and a few hundred people. Mm-hmm. You are a unit. Yeah. And as the boss of that unit, you want everybody to contribute the best value possible. That is true. Because the team makes the dream. No, and this is where it's like um, you have team. As you build a team, you definitely should build a team that's not like you. You there don't you want everybody on the team to think like you, to mm-hmm. have the same skill sets as you, because why? Why would you do that? Y'all would lose. So you, right. that's like having all Shaq right playing on right, no. the Lakers. <laughs> right, you can't have a team full Somebody of Shaqs. Somebody got shoot the free throw, man. Right, you cannot have a team full of Shaqs. Oh, we love so you, Shaq. It's all love. We do. We do love you, Shaq. Um, but you can't. You have to have diversity even on your team. Yeah. And especially when it comes from a mindset and a thought process, you want people to bring different elements to the table. Mm-hmm. So oh, that way, seasoning. Season. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> so you want you want you got to keep it spicy at all times. A little salt and pepper. Um, I mean, you're gonna have some disagreements. I mean, that's normal. You're not gonna see eye to eye on everything, but hopefully, you know, you embrace what because like with um when I actually. You know, Sandrea decided to come on board to, you know, handle the marketing mm-hmm. um, for us. I, honestly, I'm like, look, I respect her and I knew what she could do. So I'm like, hey, do you? Because yeah. <laughs> I was just happy to have <laughs> like, hey, whatever. Here's the guidelines. However you make it happen. We talk about it, but you're not going to get too much. I don't micromanage. Cause no. I don't really have time to micromanage anybody. I'm trying to micromanage we myself. We should micromanage ourselves. Right. I'm just, I'm it's doing awesome. good to micromanage myself. So, um, but when you trust people and when you have built that trust, you don't have to micromanage people. No. Yeah. When you know that they're going to deliver and do what they say they're going to do. Yeah. So that's, I mean, in that, but yeah, you build a team based on what value that they bring to your organization and how, you know, and definitely how well they Make sure that their moral compass and things are aligned mm-hmm. um, with the values that you have as well. Yeah. So that's super important. Mission statement. Yeah. What's your mission statement? Why does right. your brand exist? What is the purpose? What are you trying to do in your service? Because business is all about serving. Yep. If you don't serve, good luck. So, which, I don't know, this kind of... Brand- oh, and I just look at the time. You got nine minutes to 11. I know you have a tight schedule. Okay, we got so, nine minutes. Yeah. Okay. Um, nine minutes. So, it's like 10 till right now? It's 10 till right now. Oh. Really nine minutes right now. So, okay. we don't have to wrap this up. Yeah. Um, we'll, oh, so, we'll, we'll talk about this, the these, um, best practices real quick. So, we'll mm-hmm. just talk about one of them. Okay. So, 2019 is all about video content. Mm-hmm. Video, video, video. Um, and even if you don't like to be in front of the camera, like it took me a while. I know people don't believe that. <laughs> Cause I was scared of Facebook Live. So you got two cameras on Facebook Live. I know. So <laughs> now, one. now I got two. I got well, one. Knows, I got one on Instagram and one on Facebook. But it took me a while because I had to get over my own little complex and my own fears. Yeah. Cause I don't like to hear myself talk. Really? Yeah, I don't. I can't tell. No, I really, I don't. <laughs> I don't like to hear the playback. Really? Yeah, because I think my voice sounds weird. Wow. <laughs> so that's my own little quirky. You're thing. funny. What? I'm serious. So sometimes I don't like to. I don't. I don't necessarily watch all of my videos <laughs> because I'm, I'm like my voice sounds weird. I think I don't know, but maybe that's my own little internal thing in my head. But tell, I had that one, to, tell that boy sit down. I know, tell him sit down, sit down. <laughs> but I had to get over it. No, you're right. So I think unless you have someone that on your team that can be that face of your business and if you yeah. don't want to, but video, um, by now video is really taken is the way to go as far it's as the, the channel. And that's why 2019 and we're all about the videos. Mm. Um, seven so, minutes to 11. I'm just, can okay, be on track. So yeah, you say so, you, you got a very important I know. meeting. Um, so, so yeah, so video be about to do is one of the, the, the best, I know <laughs> video is like one of the best things you can do. Um, 
for your brand, um, for sure. So is a city helps us. Uh, um, Shout out to is a city, man. I know. So make sure you go on is a city dot com. Um, put your business on is a city. They do. Um, it's like video. the new LinkedIn. Well, yeah, it's kind kinda. of. Yeah, it's kind of like I always I need refer. You, I need to get you on the show. I always refer to it as like the Facebook for business owners. Because <laughs> you can send out posts and yeah. all the type of stuff you can put. Like, if you have a um, you sell products, you can put your products on there. Mm-hmm. All that. So, um, yeah. So they do a lot. They do our video production, and so we work together. So it's a team effort. But I always love to just shout them out because they're their own brand too. So it's a there partnership. You know. What's the website again? Is the city dot com. I s t h e c i t y is the city dot com. That's what's up. <laughs> so videos, videos, videos. Um, it's the way to go. So yeah, man. On that note, be Michelle. Once again, I hope y'all have your pens and papers all ready to review because I'm telling you, man, this is 2019. Like she said, it's already almost over and it's not going to slow down anytime not soon. Not at all. Not at all. So today, not tomorrow. Today. Make it happen. Start the process now. Like you said, just start. Yeah, you got to get started and just be intentional. If nothing, if you don't remember anything else from this podcast today, remember, be intentional. And when you work and walk in intent, people will know mm-hmm. and that you're serious about your growth and your development. Boom. Boom, dropping mics. So, yes, follow me um, on Instagram, Coach B. Michelle, Facebook, Coach B. Michelle, and you can uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, um, uh, B. Michelle, as well. So, there you have it, man. So, once again, thanks so much for being here on I Am Refocus Podcast. You're welcome. Thank Shout you guys for having me. Rock. <laughs> I'm going to call him Rocco. That's funny. <laughs> Shout out to Rico. everybody Rico. messing up names today. <laughs> Shout out to Rico, owner of Rockefeller's Barbershop. Shout out to Is The City, because we're going to get him on the show pretty soon. Because he's kind of quiet, but I guarantee you when he gets on this mic, it's game over. Pretty much. Boom. So shout out to everybody who's been listening to the show. We appreciate y'all all 13 countries. Man, it's like, Man, wow. Worldwide it's is amazing. Mm-hmm. iHeartRadio, Spotify, everything. So San Antonio, everybody who's listening in your own city, it's your time. Start today. And with that, we're going to say what we say every single week. Keep God first. Stay focused. And peace. Oh, 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 oh,